the Enhanced Recovery Partnership fully supports the use of intraoperative fluid management technologies to deliver individualized goal-directed fluid therapy, and that aligns with recommendations in the NHS operating framework, uh, the document Innovation, Health and Wealth, that review, and NICE guideline MTG3. So we know this is a core component that will be monitored over the years to come because there should be a high level of compliance. We use goal-directed fluid therapy using modern, minimally invasive cardiac output devices for every single patient undergoing major surgery. To our surprise, this has reduced our length of stay down from six days to four days and without any increase in complications so far. We've uh, struggled um, in thoracic surgery uh, with goal-directed fluid therapy. We just wonder if you've got any experience with patients undergoing thoracotomy at how to um, best direct uh, fluid management. There are ways of using other monitors to monitor cardiac output, particularly in the post-operative period. And some work demonstrates that provided you're not too far behind during uh, surgery, if you, if you give them a six-hour catch-up period, a lot of patients do well. We would um, emphasize uh, that cold-directed fluid therapy is key to reduce our complications uh, and the benefits of ER uh, are also seen in the elderly population undergoing major surgery.